asylum and residents from the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, or MHRA, the organisation that runs the yellow card scheme on any medicine, vaccine or medical device. This is because at a data level, the information at a small population level is not of sufficient utility for generating a signal that there may be a link between the exposure and the symptom or possible side effects, and there, and, and there would not therefore be any action that could be taken here in response to the data. Similarly, Public Health does not ask MHRA how many Isle of Man residents have submitted to yellow card reports for any medicine, vaccine or medical device. Thank you, um, Minister. Thank you. Um, given that over 1,000 people have completed the yellow cards, so it's starting to look like a significant number of people, has no, have no questions been asked, has no data been pulled in by public health to actually look at whether there are any issues occurring in, 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 in several concentrations? Because a thousand does appear to be quite a significant number. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm, I'm not quite sure the reference to a thousand, um, but I would say that you know that it, it is the it is the MHRA that um, handle the key findings, and um, their key findings and the monitoring approach are online at the government MHRA website, which is um, UK government MHRA website, and. Um, the yellow card side effect reporting system, it, it's observational and anyone can report a suspected side effect, um, whether they're a health professional, patient, or carer, and a, as an observational system, the reporting cannot indicate any evidence of causality, as in that case, whether it's a COVID-19 vaccine is directly linked to the reported side effect. The, the upshot is, is that um, the, the data and monitoring is held over there, and that is published, and the analysis and approach of that is, is online and available. Thank you, Speaker. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Minister. And the thousand is referring to the number of people actually complete the cards. In terms of that number, questions have been asked in terms of the general knowledge about the yellow card system. In terms of that, is it simply promoted during the administrative process and in the medical setting prior to vaccination? Is there any other promotion of the yellow card system that takes place? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Yes, um, the information on the yellow card scheme is contained within the leaflet that is provided to, to patients on arrival at the vaccine hub, mm -hmm. and it's also available online at the Isle of Man government website and, and the, the guide to COVID 19, for example, the spring booster, and it's also contained within the patient information leaflet, leaflet given to each patient when they complete the consent form. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, given that um, public health doesn't appear to be collecting any additional information from the data that's available, have the GPs been encouraged, as they've been in relationship with um, the HSC in terms of <coughs> what this could mean for future the future impacts on the other man? Because if a thousand people have completed the form, then potentially there could be some future consequences. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think that would be a matter for individuals if they, they wish to be contacting their GP, and obviously that is a matter um, for the healthcare service rather than having a, a link between the um, MHRA and also public health. Uh, I hope that answers the question. <coughs> <laughs>